Natter Coleman, and I'm living in Ballinasloe. Well, there were a lot of different pieces of information tonight, but the one thing that stood out for me was actually something that we heard at the, at the end of the meeting, um, which was that we have an amazing tourist attraction on our doorstep with the sort of lime escarpment in, in Tockman Connell, which is something which was a surprise, not only for me, but I think for everybody in the room. And it was just one of those other uh, great, I suppose, pieces of information that you can find out when, uh, when people get together. The BACD are doing amazing work. Um, they are involved in so many projects and the cohesiveness of the work that they're doing um, by working in different areas, but all combining to, to really help the overall uh, community in Ballinasloe develop over, over time. And I think, you know, the whole amount of the volunteerism and the support that they're able to bring in and the way that they're able to put those structured planned programs together, um, they have really demonstrated the amount of hours and effort that's gone in and um, yeah, it's been very, very positive. Um, I think, um, I'm not sure to say shocked, but probably thinking about sort of opportunity and I think in uh, the piece that Anita talked about in the whole area about sustainability and the data that, that she now has and the town team now have in relation to um, you know, where we can make energy savings and the opportunities in the, in the town. The statistic that 54% of uh, residential buildings are uh, somewhere around a B1 uh, rating, and uh, a D1 rating rather, and a B2 is, is where, you know, um, the SEAA is trying to get, um, you know, buildings up to, just demonstrates, you know, the massive opportunity that we have for energy saving in the town. Um, and obviously the opportunity for potential work there for contractors as well. That was only one small element of the sustainability pillar, but um, I, I was really um, shocked in a positive way to hear about that statistic. I, I am, I think, you know, the community is going through a massive amount of change. Um, uh, you know, we're growing as a community, we're becoming more diverse as a community, um, we're changing even our ways of working as a community. And I think for me, like, the key thing that was very positive about tonight and you know, long may it continue. Is we had open discussion, you know, we had you know um, differences of opinion, but the fact that there's a voice, a place for everyone's voice in the room, is what is so important. Um, and I was really encouraged by, you know, all of the, the different, um, the amount of people that we had tonight as well. Um, I think the room was was full out the door. Um, so I I feel always when people can come together. Um, it's going to be great for the future of any community. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think, I mean, and I've seen and been involved with some of the events over the years. Um, so I think um, from what I can see, what I saw tonight, it all was very positive for, for the future of Ballinasloe. One, when we're looking at the pillars, and I, I shouldn't really be saying this because I know I've had a look at the plan before, but we have three p pillars there. And um, one that kind of came out of me, obviously, is the whole area of, um, you know, business and the business development, which uh, is being done through the Pulse Club and, and uh, the businesses and so on. But like as a pillar, like obviously our, our economic growth and we have all shop balance low, so we have that. So, and I mean, the other pillar might be education. So that might be something also that, you know, having, having heard tonight about, you know, the developments that we have. Hello, how are you? My name is Liam Calais and this is Louise Whelan here. We're from South Roscommon and we live in a karst landscape in South Roscommon. I, actually, I was delighted to see the full the amount of community that came out and it's really engaged in, in all the different projects that are on, so we're very happy with that. Like, there's great work going on here and to have a minister in the hall, very impressive, and Ashley, and Ashley Doan as well, so it's very impressive. I've linked with them, so yeah, so like I said, we're, it's about getting good plans in place for future development. Um, well, I think how this hasn't been tapped into beforehand, how Bandeslow has been left, like, like, because it has real potential. And South Roscommon has real potential and it should have really been tapped into 10, 15 years ago. Oh, definitely, yes. It, it's, a, it's a work in, pro, in progress to get me to you know. So like the committee is a voluntary committee, so they're doing their best to get me to you know. So like, like in fairness, all I can do is if someone has a gap, put their hand up and try and, 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 try and fill that gap. That's all they can do.